Hi, lecosamide or Vimpat is one of the widely used anti-seizure medications and now it is available in generic form so it would be even more utilized. Overall, lecosamide is one of the best seizure medications we have and it is very well tolerated. Some side effects include dizziness and it can slow the conduction of the heart. Let's talk about lecosamide for epilepsy and answer the most common 10 questions about this medication. The first question is what? type of epilepsy lacosamide treats. Lacosamide is FDA approved for focal epilepsy in children of one month old and older and as an add-on or adjunct treatment for primary generalized epilepsy of four years and older. Lacosamide can be used in status epilepticus as well and there are lots of new studies looking into this in detail. How does lacosamide work? Lacosamide has a very unique mechanism of one of its kind and it is selectively enhancing the slow inactivation of sodium channels. <laughs> That's a kind of complicated word. So what it does, it will, the sodium channels will propagate the action, the electricity in the brain, and it will keep it inactive, which leads to stabilization of the neuron and decrease the repeated firing during the seizure. Interestingly, lacosamide binds to the protein CRMP2, which has a role in epileptogenesis, and hopefully that we find that lacosamide can change the course of epilepsy like no other medications that is available now. How to dose lacosamide? Luckily, lacosamide is available in pill form, in liquid, and in IV form, which is gives us a great flexibility in the use. We start lacosamide with 50 milligram twice a day for one week, and then we can increase it to 100 milligram twice a day afterwards and adjust based on the tolerability and the seizure control. In children, we start with one milligram per kilogram per dose twice a day, and we can increase after two weeks to by 0.5 to one milligram per kilogram per dose and increase based on tolerability and seizure control. In cases of status epilepticus, usually there is no guidance here, but usually we load with about like anywhere between 300 to 600 milligram and maintain about 100 to 200 milligram twice a day, depends on the seizure type. And because lacosamide causes PR interval prolongation, which is slowness in the conduction of the heart, it is recommended to get an EKG uh, of the heart before starting lacosamide and you can get another one after starting the lacosamide in cases of having conduction problems, atrial fibrillation, Brugada syndrome, or any problems in the heart or the heart electricity. In kidney and liver failure, there is no need to adjust the titration schedule. However, in patients with kidney failure and decreased kidney function, usually we decrease the target dose to 75% of the maximum dose. This is because of the clearance in the kidneys decrease. In patients who have dialysis, we know that lecosamide gets filtered by 50% in the dialysis for our session, so it is recommended to supplement 50% of the dose after each dialysis session, which means if somebody is taking 100 twice a day, we give 50 milligram after each dialysis session, not before. Please let me know down in the comment if you are doing well on lacosamide. What should I do if lacosamide is not working for me? There are many reasons why lacosamide is not working for you. The first thing is that if you are giving up too early or on a too low of a dose. So some people will just stop taking the medication after one or two weeks. We should give it enough time, about three to six months, and we should give it a high enough dose to judge if it is enough for you. And if you are on high dose and you spend long time on this medication and it's still not working and you tried more than one medication, you might be having drug resistant epilepsy, which happens in 25% of the time. And this has its own treatment that we talked about in the drug resistant epilepsy video. What are the side effects of lacosamide? Lacosamide in general is very well tolerated. However, there are multiple side effects that are expected to happen, especially at the beginning, including dizziness, tiredness, imbalance, ataxia, nausea, and incoordination. And most of those side effects are expected to get better with time as your body is getting used to the medication. If lacosamide is combined with another sodium channel blocker, such as carbamazepine or phenytoin, the side effects of lacosamide can be 
combined and worse. Like many of the anti-seizure medications, there is a label warning for suicidal ideation with lacosamide. And as we mentioned before, it can cause slowing in the conduction of the heart and cause PR interval prolongation. And we should get an EKG if somebody has a problem with the heart or the heart conduction. And this side effect is dose dependent, meaning that at a smaller dose it can happen and we increase the dose and the slowing will be even more and can lead to heart block. Can I drive or drink alcohol? alcohol if I'm taking lacosamide. Lacosamide, because it can cause dizziness and drowsiness, it is important to avoid driving as you are taking this medication at the beginning until you get used to it. Also, it is important to avoid drinking alcohol because lacosamide can interact with alcohol and both combined can cause more dizziness and drowsiness. Can I stop lacosamide if it is not working for me? Like all the anti-seizure medications, we cannot stop the lacosamide suddenly because it can cause withdrawal seizure unless there is a severe allergy. If lacosamide is to be stopped, it should be slowly weaned off and tapered until it is stopped in about one to two months. Is there a difference between the brand name Vimpat and the generic name lacosamide. Vimpat was very expensive and lots of patients had issues with copays and stopped taking the medication because of those high copays. And now we have the generic lacosamide. Usually the switch between Vimpat and lacosamide is smooth and seamless and it is recommended to monitor the blood levels on Vimpat at the beginning, get blood levels, and then once we switch to lacosamide generic, we can measure the blood level again to make sure that there is no change and it should be fine afterwards. Is lacosamide safe in pregnancy and breastfeeding? At this point, we do not have lots of data for pregnancy uh, on lacosamide because it's a relatively a new medication. However, the available data is reassuring that there is no major malformations or issues with pregnancy. If you get pregnant while taking Vimpat, please enroll yourself in the multiple pregnancy registries in your area and that will be a great addition to the science and our understanding of this medication. Breastfeeding is safe with lacosamide, like in most of the anti-seizure medication. It is recommended to breastfeed while taking anti-seizure medications and lacosamide, and we should always watch for any signs of drowsiness or excessive sleepiness in the baby because of the medication, and usually also this will get better with time. Now, after understanding all the properties of lacosamide, these are the situations that we prefer to start lacosamide in. The first, if we have a patient with rapid and many seizures that we do not have time to titrate other medications, we can give lacosamide with a relatively high dose and this will be a good chance to control the seizures relatively quickly. And in cases of status epilepticus or frequent seizures in the hospital, we can start at IV and get that going and then we can maintain with oral treatment. Also, it can be a good choice for cases of generalized epilepsy with the seizures happening frequently. And because it does not have psychiatric side effects, it can be a favorable choice with somebody who has psychiatric issues like depression, anxiety, that we could not tolerate other medication like levetiracetam or Kepra, which tends to worsen psychiatric history. And in the elderly, it is important to monitor for dizziness and drowsiness, which can be more exaggerated in elderly because of their excessive sensitivity to medications. And usually we start at a much lower dose to improve uh, tolerability. Lacosamide is one of the many anti-seizure medications and to learn all about all the anti-seizure medications and how they work and what is the best medication for you, I put in one video that has all the information you need in a much easy way that you can understand and stay healthy and see you in the next one. Salam.